Fire danger is high today, too, in Colorado Springs. Will only intensify, like Chris just mentioned, tomorrow. Those strong winds really going to exas exacerbate those conditions. Uh, our Riley Carroll is live from the Springs with more on why the Colorado Springs Fire Department, Riley, has enacted more burn restrictions citywide. That's right, Josh. This dry grass is exactly what the Springs Fire Department is worried about igniting and spreading should a fire start. And with these homes behind me, this particular area is incredibly vulnerable if a fire were to start. Dry grass, trees and shrubs, high winds and little rain. Put it all together and it's a recipe for disaster when it comes to wildland fires. Well, over the next two days especially, it's going to be very important that they're paying attention and heeding those warnings because what we find is that the propensity for a fire to spread extremely quickly is going to be happening over today and tomorrow. That's why the Colorado Springs Fire Department has enacted burn restrictions for residents within city limits. When we go into burn restrictions, that really means that our fuel moistures are low. And so that is one of the things we've been tracking and they've been diminishing over the last few weeks. So that's concerning. Things like grilling outdoors are allowed, but smoking outdoors is strictly prohibited under the burn restriction. We don't want people doing any outdoor fireplaces with real burning wood that don't have screens on them. Definitely no campfires, things like that. Currently, there's no end date in sight for the restrictions. Fire officials say that's really up to Mother Nature. We are hoping for a nice dousing of rain over several weeks to bring those recovery back up in those light flashy fuels, which is our grasses um, and then all the brushes, shrubs. Manitou Springs, Fountain and Douglas County are just a few other areas also enacting burn restrictions. So as Chris mentioned, we're going to have that red flag warning and that high wind watch tomorrow, but that's actually different than the fire danger determined by the Colorado Springs Fire Department. They have their own system to determine particular fire danger just here in the Springs area. That fire danger is high today, and they say that it's going to be at least as high, if not worse, tomorrow with those winds. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Riley Carroll, KRDO News Channel 13.